Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express here in S3. And this morning, we have the pleasure of chatting with a formidable Cara Duplessis, a rising star in the world of jiu-jitsu. Most recently, she captured an incredible prize, the IBJJF Nogi World Championship in Las Vegas. And I'm, I'm sorry, what happens in Vegas needs to go all over the world this time because we want to showcase the fact that if you are looking for a winner, look no further than a South African. That's how we roll these days. So balancing her passion for sport with a degree in mechatronic engineering, Cara's journey is one of resilience and determination. Jiu-jitsu. And of course, remember that she was a Dupla C who won something before the other one won a certain middleweight USC title. We just say, hi, Cora. Good morning, Carl. Yes. So lovely to be with you this morning. I was accurate in saying that you, you were a Dupla C that won something before Trikas, eh? That is true. And I called him out on it. And I told him, I've set the standard now. You have to follow in my footsteps. Yes. And so that's what happened. <laughs> so take me through what this medal is that you brought with you. The, the victory here. For those who've been under a rock that haven't been following the jiu-jitsu journey, what is this for? So this is the IBJJF um, World Nogi title. Um, as annually, it's held in Las Vegas. As you guys can see, it's a, it's a beautiful medal. It is. Not, okay, it's not only beautiful. I honestly thought that you brought a laptop. That's how big <laughs> that thing is. I must wow. say, I, it's quite a, like, they actually stopped me at security on the way in. Thought they so. stopped me and they were like, what is this? And I was like, no, I actually earned this, I promise. Um, no, so wow. it is quite... But yeah, it was an incredible journey being able to train, go to Las Vegas, experience it, you know, for the first time, and then being there and with everybody, the whole scene, it's a whole, you can imagine people from all over the country, all over the world, going to compete at this IBJJF, so. This is, it's great. I mean, you know, for jiu-jitsu, mm -hmm. I often see jiu-jitsu being associated with some of the older Hollywood actors, et cetera, et cetera. Now, it has a discipline as well. I think for those who don't understand jiu-jitsu, well, how does it differ from any other martial art? Um, so that's funny you ask that because I actually come from a judo background. Uh -huh. and one of the things that um, when I started jiu-jitsu, was, I was like, oh my gosh, like it just opened up my mind completely. It is the best sport out there, I must say. It really it uses your, the challenges your body, but it also challenges your mind yeah. using techniques and other d various types of things. You have to use strategy, but also keep in mind your athletic capabilities. It's, inc it's an incredible sport. So. Yeah. Mm. I've heard it being described as chess with your body. It, it truly is. It's one of the things that, you, you know, if you're injured or you have to stay off the mat, you somewhere, we have a chess board at our gym. You just play chess yeah. on the side. But that's so cool. And the thing is, it's also about multitasking in a lot of ways, and that's what you are doing. How how are you finding the balance between mechatronic engineering and jiu-jitsu? And obviously, because if you win this something, it means that you've had to spend the hours training for that. So that is very astonishing. How have you found the balance? That has been the biggest challenge, um, honestly, finding the balance. But it's so strange when people ask me that and I say, jiu-jitsu and engineering, they really, they complement each other. They really, the, the thinking processes, yeah. the problem solving. Um, jiu-jitsu just has the aspect where I use my body, whereas most engineers, they maybe will just sit and just use their brains. Yeah. Not as much their athletic capabilities. But um, the two complement each other so well and just having been able to do them both at the same time to yes. the degree that I want to, it's been an absolute blessing, so. But of course, Every single challenge is, is not without certain bumps along the way, some of the big ones as well. So I, I have heard that you, you had a passing in the family, um, you know, during your, your second year of studies, and I, I can't imagine what that was like for you. But how did you get through the passing in your family and still manage to have the focus to win a title like this? So it does come with its challenges. And so I lost my father at the age of 19, which is two weeks before my second year was supposed to start. Yeah. And, um, you know, when you deal with a loss at, like, that age and you kind of yeah. get these questions where it's, um, what is the meaning of life, really? And you look at the flip side of that and it's like, the life is, it's what you make of it. And it's kind of with that mindset that I went to. I'm a big believer in life is as you perceive it. And I chose to perceive life as this is what you make of it. And that's kind of, I think it's actually kind of a beautiful story how that loss started my 2023 and yes. how it ended with, you know, me be, like having my hand raised, knowing that I was the world champion of my, in my belt, so. Mm. It's called the, the collateral beauty of that. And I think that's what happens. And, mm -hmm. and what we do is we move forward. Uh, we don't stay stuck and, and paused because of loss. We, we gain a bit more, you know, we move on. So the, those who are watching over us can, 
have a very, very good sort of journey to watch, you know, because they want us to be happy, and I'm glad that you're happy. <laughs> so this is the most important thing. Now, moving from all of this, I'm sure you want to finish mechatronic engineering. <laughs> you want to continue. I'm sure you want to win a lot more of these. So okay. what is next on the agenda? Because I know for you athletes, you're always searching for more. So what's more for you? Okay, so, well, first of all, I'd love to continue building the sport of jiu-jitsu in South Africa. You know, really building yes. that name, really building the sport, having it grow and everything. Um, but for me personally, I'll actually be traveling to Croatia in about two weeks' time. I wow! Think. Yes, I, we, um, so I'm always training for the ADCC trials, which is held in Europe annually. Yes. And um, that's coming up in about two weeks' time. And if I win there, I get to be invited to the World Championships, which is the ADCC World Championships. So I'm always training for that. That's always at the top of our training list. That's definitely a goal. Um, I'd love to complete my studies as well while, yeah. <laughs> while maintaining that. And then, yeah, I'd love, honestly, just see whatever opportunities are presented to me. So, yeah. Cora, we're so proud of you. We really are. You're fantastic. A medal winner. Of course, you're a South African. That's all we know how to do is get shiny gold things. That's what we do here. But thank you so much for coming through and sharing your story. You are such a beacon of courage and I hope that more people learn about jiu-jitsu and learn about perseverance and about engineering your future through hard work. <laughs> I think that's, the that's what you are a testament of, so well done. Thank you so much, Carl. We are so proud of you. It is Cora Duplessis, jiu-jitsu star. Look out for that name as you go into the, uh, of course, jiu-jitsu world. There's going to be more coming from this incredible athlete. Talking about athletes, here's somebody that looks like he was built by a mechatronic engineer. It's Ryle.